Hi everyone, K and our ghost hunters here. I'm Mel, he's K, and we're the Nottingham Nutters that like to investigate the paranormal. Within Colchester, the UK's oldest recorded town, lies a stunning 15th century coach inn. Built in 1465 and served as a dwelling to the Howard family until the 16th century when it became an inn. Eleven weeks during the summer of 1648, Oliver Cromwell convened Parliament in the Moot Hall with a view to putting royalist agitants on trial. This very Moot Hall is now the hotel's restaurant. This being being so full of history, I think I should jump straight into the alleged hauntings. In the old Parliament room, there have been sightings of a small boy. His name and origin is unknown, but he has been captured many times on photos. Several hundred years ago, a fire broke out in the hotel and took the life of a monk who was said to still wander the corridors looking for the children that were under his care. Unfortunately, these children also perished in the blaze. But nothing could prepare me for this truly horrifying story. In 1638, a young chambermaid, Alice Miller, took the fancy of a powerful politician. He promised her a better life. Love, money and freedom. She soon fell under his spell and became pregnant. With joy, she awaited his arrival to break the happy news. Unfortunately, this was not music to his ears, and in his rage, he beat the chambermaid to death in her quarters. After the realisation of what he had done, he attempted to stage a suicide by throwing her body from the window into the courtyard. In the early 18th century, the innkeeper reported seeing her ghost on several occasions, and in his terror boarded up the door to her quarters, in hopes that she would no longer wander. It was made hotel law that the staff were not to speak of the spirits, or they would be instantly dismissed. Rooms 10 and 5 are thought to be the most active in the hotel, so join us as we bed down for the night in room 10 of the Red Line Hotel in Colchester. Warning, this footage has not been adjusted, faked or staged. What you are about to see is real and may not contain any paranormal activity. We split the team into two groups to investigate rooms 5 and 10. <clears throat> to be honest, I, the only thing I got then was, who was the lady that just spoke? Debbie. Debbie, I'm terrible with names. Debbie, by the door. Tight's here. Hey? Mm, something's that there. I keep getting vibes here. Behind you? Yeah. Perfect. Um, Debbie, can you come through the circle and go and stand by the <gasps> door for me? Yeah, sure. There's something... Do we have to join? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, so so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's> on here. <laughs> Okay, we all jump back up again. Hi spirits, my name's Paul. I have been in this room before many, many times. And there are some spirits that usually tend to come and um, want to interact with us, come and let us know they're around. Um, again, I've just seen it again. When the lovely lady Jenny spoke, is it Jenny? Debbie. Debbie, yeah. and Jenny felt it. Then we, we need to see some lights in the far corner. Debbie's come over to, towards that area now. Are you able to make yourself known to her? I feel like I just saw a flash. The, again, I see. Yeah. I keep seeing it. See, I think that's, you know, the light around the top of the door? Yeah. That's how it walks past. Yeah, yeah. shadow. Yeah. I've got a flash here. I noticed it when you can move to Your flash is yeah. like a, a sparkle, like a. No, mine is like a strip. Oh, it's right, like okay. really quick. It's like here. And I felt like. So it was standing there when we were all talking. I felt like it was getting closer. Okay. You were right in the... by the door? Yeah. Are you, are you feeling <laughs> anything at all? I'm not. Not yet. Okay. No. Let's go with it. Um, could you sit in that chair? Yeah. Can you see it? I can see it, yeah. Okay. Join up again. Do you know why you sat in the chair? Have I just sat on someone's lap? Um, <laughs> possibly. I've got a cold bum, does that make sense? Possibly. Can I ask a question? My legs are really cold. Yeah. Is, there, is there a mirror there? There is yes, a mirror there, there yeah. There is a mirror that side, yeah. Yeah. Okay. My legs are freezing. Uh, who's? Not me, I can't feel nothing. Oh, literally, put your hands on my lips. I don't know if it's my eyes or not. I think I'm freaking out. Yeah, it is a bit cold. My lips are freezing. And my bum's cold. Yeah, there's a cold patch there. It does feel colder. One of the most famous spirits of the Red Lion Inn is a young lady called Alice. Mm -hmm. um, could you just join up again? Yes. Um, she's a young lady called Alice. In the 1600s, she was brutally murdered. Um, she was very, very beautiful. Um, 
very pale skin, very beautiful lady, <coughs> very young girl, which is unusual Good because sense. you have. Yeah, when we talk time. about her in here, yeah. it comes. Um, very beautiful and a very pure white skin, which was unusual for the 1600s because most people had, had sort of pot marks and they were sort of very sort of scarred. Um, there was a local travelling magistrate who took a like to this gorgeous, pale skinned young girl um, and he basically promised her the earth. Um, on his couple of visits, she would go to meet him um, and she felt pregnant. The next visit, she was looking forward to him coming back and she went running to him with open arms. And told him the story, she was pregnant, and he's off. I don't Sorry, know I you. just see a white light yeah. behind these two. Ash and Jen. I just saw that as well. White light. Okay. I feel there like is. I'm going to cry. It's, okay. I actually feel like I'm going to cry. Can we, it happens when we talk about it. Are, we, are you happy that we can't yeah, talk about it? Yeah, no, it's fine. I just yeah. feel like I'm okay. going to cry. So this, this magistrate basically, you know, who are you to me? You're nothing. You're just a peasant girl. Go away type thing. Um, and... She was insisting, no, no, you promised me, you promised me, and now I'm carrying your child, you promised me everything. And he just um, beat her to death. Mm. Okay. My belly really hurts. Um, and to make it look like an accident, he basically, you know, the, the, the little window in the courtyard? Yeah. Um, he threw her out of there. Oh, and she, she left, he left her dying. Sorry, touch my back. I can say, I keep seeing a white light behind you, Jay. Okay. Same. Yeah, so I, I think it's the back. cars. No, it's yeah. on the floor. There are, there are car tracks. Yeah. Well, it's not on uh, the ceiling. It's it, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's lower. Yeah. Okay. It's by your legs, like yeah, behind your knees. Yeah, what, no, it's not just touch my back. Both of you. You know, it's the temperature's dropping as we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. someone literally just like kind of went like that on my back. It's like literally level with your, between your bum and your knees, it's that's where the that. night is. Okay. So he basically threw it out the window, made it look like she fell I out the window, committed suicide or whatever. He's doing it again. And I thought I heard tapping. Okay. When we talk about how <laughs> she, she's, so yeah. It was literally yeah. like when you tap on a bit of glass. Mm. Yeah. So. Um, so she left there, she was left there to die. Her blood actually seeped through the very fabric of the, 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 the courtyard and ran down into the cellar. So she, she, uh, she's still here today in, in essence. Can I like. take a picture? Spirit, my name's Laura. Feel free to come and use my energy. Can you copy this noise for us, please? Was that? I feel like someone just walked across these floors. Yeah, did you feel it under your feet? Yeah. Like they're sort of yeah. vibrated. Now I've gone really hot. I've gone really freezing. Since, yeah, I, I felt really that, hot. but I thought it was you moving. Yeah, the floorboards moved, didn't they? Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can you copy me? My knees are getting pushed forward. Um, I feel like that. Do you feel like I'm, I'm yeah, bending? Knees, I'm actually yeah. bending. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Every time I straighten my knees, they just keep popping back out. If you're affecting Kelly and pushing her legs, can you do it a little bit harder, please? Push her into the centre of the circle. Yeah, fact, you're going to fall flat on the face. You've still got your hands. Your head. I can't, I can't straighten them. Every time I straighten them, look. They literally... We can't see you, because it's dark. That was me. Who's being affected? Me. What's your name? Kelly. Spirit, if it's um, Kelly that you're affecting, can you use her as a yes and a no answer? Could you give her a little push for a yes answer if we ask you questions? Can you give her a little push now, back yeah, or forth? just pushed her. She just moved forward. Just to confirm, Spirit, what's your no response? Side. 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 Yeah, she's come to, to her right towards me. Are you a male? Forward. Yeah. Did you live here? 
to me. Did you work here? Forward. Was you murdered here? To me. Could you make a noise for us, please? No. Could you let tell us your name? Maybe whisper it to somebody. Is your name Billy? Is your name Brian? Yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm going forward. Brian? I had the name Brian about 10 minutes ago. Could you? Not that I heard anything, it just comes Could you push me. Kelly forward again, please? Is your name Brian? Yes. Okay, Spirits, my name's Paul. If there is anybody at all with us now, please come forward and make yourself known. If you're the man of religion or the children that were in, in your care, if you can see us and hear us, you've heard everybody's name and their voice. So if there's anybody at all that you feel drawn to, somebody that you feel comfortable with, Okay, if you're standing behind this lady in front of me now, can you gently push her towards my voice if you can? Just try and show us where you are in this this room. Oh god again. You just moved. Yeah. You just moved. You almost like come towards me. Mm. I felt it. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the other room you felt nothing, did you? No. You kept saying there's nothing in it, you felt anything. No. But you just I feel it more Sorry, in this room. I didn't realise how close that was to you. <laughs> 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 is that, is that a wardrobe? Yeah. <laughs> is that a wardrobe? Yeah. 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 I, I, don't, I don't know if it's just my imagination or not, but I keep... If the monk's here and you're, you're um, touching this lady's crucifix, maybe we can hear your voice. We're going to come back a little bit later on. Maybe we can um, say the Lord's Prayer. Will you approve of that? Did you hear that? There's yeah, a yeah. There's a creak right here. That was the wardrobe. That was the wardrobe, definitely. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I just kidding. really had a really cool breeze right Ooh. in my face. It was like there a was breeze. A yeah, was a like, you yeah. know, when someone puts a fan on it. Like, yeah, yeah, literally. Or your hair. Oh. Oh. oh, she's moving. Yes, yeah, alright. What happened? Don't touch my back. Have you got your hood up? No. Seriously? <laughs> no, I, I don't like it. I've got a really funny feeling. I, I could have just sworn you've got. She, she looked like she had a pointy hat on. Yeah, <laughs> like, like a, 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 a cat. Yeah, I thought you'd got your hood up. No. You might see it done on a red. No, no it, it was pointy. Yeah. So it's, not, it's gone out. I felt like Sake was literally just went like that on my back side. You look like you had a robe on. Yeah. You keep shaking. I'm so cold, honestly. You're fine. I don't felt nothing in this room until you started talking. Started what? When you were talking. Yeah. I felt nothing in this room and then all of a sudden I just got That's in the sometimes side. When it, when it happens, when you're almost like ignoring them. Yeah. I was just like, I felt, I felt nothing in this room. You feel it cold through you? And again. Oh, oh. oh God. My cross again. It's like... So it's pushing on it, okay. so I can feel the the indent on my neck. I'm taking this off my neck. Yeah. Front in the pin. <laughs> when you break the circle, I'd be interested to see in your neck if you don't mind. Yeah. And then you felt like that was digging in. What your cross was there? No, but he was oh, digging in the chain okay. in there. Mind, Mind majesty. majesty. Yeah. And I could look into the eye. You are a bit red. Right. Literally digging, like poking po po me. And then like, I could feel my cross moving. You are a little bit red. Right.
taking a few of the team up to room 10 with tryouts and equipment. And you know, when you just think everyone else is getting affected, but Jordan isn't. I mean, I wasn't, I, I'm really innocent, to be honest. The only thing that I had was in that other room and it was like a little breeze, it felt like, so I said it's like, like, like the breathing thing, but like it was like a little burst of, not really burst, but, oh yeah. Thank you. Don't like it, but we're not giving you attention, do you? Can you do that again? Yeah, yeah, that's all I got. Just the first letter of my granddad's name. First letter of my brother. There's a couple on the floor, hang on. That's the first letter of my name. Is it really? Um, I thought I had a torch on my brand. But Megan, the one that's with me, mm. she had a, a full name, Sean, come through. And that was um, that was her best friend's dad, and apparently it was like a second daughter or something, I don't know. Aww. That was a big one. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Use our energies. Thank you very much, that's fantastic. Oh, is that that loud spirit box? Thank you. Oh, is that that loud spirit box? Uh, is it where it goes? Yeah. 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 Mental, uh, they freak out. Maybe. They make me feel sick. Is that you touching the cat ball? If you want to do it again, one more time. One. Jordan has not experienced a human pendulum before, but I think he kind of likes it. Now I'm going to the bathroom. Spirit, can you move Jordan towards me, please? Push him towards me. That's mental, lad. Let yourself go if you're going to fall. You might have to climb over the bed. Jordan, oh. Spirit, can you push him towards me, please? Come on, push harder. That's mental. I'm not believing about this. Push him harder, Spirit. Hey, I don't want to believe because I don't. It's, you know, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Spirit, can you push him back towards Owen? Okay, did you used to live here, Spirit? Yes. Do you have a wife, Spirit? I can't hold that one back there, but yeah, it was going forward. Can you actually feel it? It's weird, because it just, it, it, I can't feel anything like pushing it, it's just like... It's good, because it's your I don't wife, know, but it might just be me, like, just... Wanting to go forward or something, but it's just weird. It's probably me mm -hmm. just trying to think, go forward, isn't it? I know this sounds really weird, but I'm visualising a nun. <sighs> what? Do you know what I mean? What, what, where's that one going from here now? Leave the nun out of it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Where's the nun going from here now? Leave the nun out of it. What are you doing that? Not to uh, know the time. Where's he got the nun from that? Where's that come from? <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? I'm looking at him and I just visualise the nun. I know it's dark and your eyes go, uh, but I just see the... Oh, don't, I don't. Know. That, that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the number ahead of him. So what's that movie with the rainbow like? Oh, come on, oh, yeah, that's, that's it. That kick on. I think you're all right. Just <laughs> <laughs> saying that. If you're still there, Spirit, can you move Jordan? Are you related to Jordan? Uh, 
Are you related to Jordan's spirit? Are you? Are you blue? blue. That would be. Thank you. Blue. I went forward in that flash, but yeah, that was weird. Really I'm trying. To, I, I know. I know. I'm not meant to, but I'm trying to like stop it. Like I don't even know why. But so you are in relation to Jordan. Kay and I go and do our usual thing of sitting somewhere creepy for a while. Okay, so we're in the, um, the cellar of the Red Lion in Colchester. It's quite cool, it's quite nice. It's upstairs, it is absolutely red hot. Cooking, <laughs> I think is the word. So that noise that you can hear there, that was just people walking past the cellar. And when you walk over that area, it just makes a noise, so... We have had a camera going off while we've been setting stuff up, but fortunately the camera wasn't going. Maybe we've caught it on the static cam because that is going. That is running, so. So hopefully we've picked it up there. Um, I've got a K2 here. We've got a REM pod. We've got cat balls around the place. So hopefully we'll pick something up. So the REM pod down there, cat balls. And then there's more cat balls going up to the side, so. The shadow that you can see is because of the static camera that's behind me at the moment. That's what's causing that shadow. So if there's anybody down here, if there's anybody that would like to communicate with us, there's lots of equipment. If you can walk towards the red light, it's so noisy because you can hear like people really walking is, above really. us and yeah, so any noises we we can't can't really use can't noise use as spirit. So we need to hear your voice, really. Or I tell you what. Did you see that flash of light? No. Oh, I'm not sitting in the right place. To be fair. Or I tell you what, spirit. There's some ale barrels right here that are metal. If you could knock on those, because it's right next to us, or maybe move something on here, because there's lots of plates and stuff. Anything that you can make a noise on that's close to our ears, that would be great. You are free to use my energy. Please do so. If you can walk towards this little green light in my hand, or the red light that's on the floor. You've already been playing with the cat balls. Please come forward and use my energy as well, Spirit. And take as much as you need. But if you could tap on one of these barrels, if I just show you a look. They make loads of noise, so if you could just... Even the smallest little tap will be amplified for us and we'll hear it. What just flashed? That's the infrared, and there's a cat ball going off at the top there. So the infrareds run out of battery, so every now and again it comes back on, which is causing that flash. So I sit in the cellar on my own, waiting for the rest of the group, but unfortunately nothing happens. When the group do arrive, we do get some interesting activity on the table tipping. Side. Sorry for swearing, Spirit. Wow, this is brilliant. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Whoa. Are you happy to for us to talk to you? Spin the table round if you like to communicate with us. Yes or no? 
I'd say that. Yes. 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 Okay, thank, thank you. you. Is your name Brian Spirit? You're still here. Use our energy spirit. You've done so well. Thank you. Do you like to dance, spirit? Yeah. Are your legs hurting, Brian? Come on, can you move this table? Come on, move the table. Use our energy. Oh, thank you. Can you put the table on one leg? Can you lift the table on one leg? Go on, Spirit, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Lift it on one leg for us, please. Come on, use, use our energies. Energy. Use Come all on. our energies. I think Brian's gone. Brian, this way. Come on. Come on. Are you playing now, Brian? That's it. Well That's done. It now. now you're walking. How the hell is he doing that? Come on, Brian. Well done. Come on, mate. Thank you, Brian. Come on. Come on, Brian. You're marching, aren't you? Come on. Come on, Brian. 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 There you go. Well done. Well done. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. You can do it. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. That's it. Come on. Thank you so much. Keep going, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, keep going. Thank you. Yay! Yay! Come on, keep going. Use our energy. Use our energy, Brian. That's it. Turn it if you have to. That's it. Oh, oh. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. He's trying to get it up. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Use our energy. You can do it. Come on, Brian. Oh, you're so clever. Use our energy, Brian. Thank you. Come on, Brian. Take us to the other group. Oh, yes. Real fast, Brian. Go faster. Come Go faster, on. Brian. Come on. Come on, Brian. Go faster. Oh, Come on, Brian. You're nearly there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Push it. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Oh, you're so clever. Come on, Brian. Keep going. Come on. Use our energy. Use our energy, Brian. You're having a little rest. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. You can do Come it. On, Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on. Yeah, he's stuck on the wall. You get his way around. Come on, Brian. Is it going off? It's stuck. Oh, it's on, I'm back constantly. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. You can do it. I'm going to have to go and have a test to see if there's anything around there. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. He likes your voice. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Er. he likes that. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. I was looking around the corner because there's something down there. <laughs> Is there something down there, Brian? Do you want to go and confess to go? Go back to where we want, yeah. Brian. Do you want to take us to where? Back to back. <laughs> oh, my knees are freezing. Brian, I'm getting back out just watching this. Come on. Is there anything down there, Brian? Is that? Is this? You're determined to get up this wall, aren't you? Well, he's trying to get round the corner. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, come on then, Brian. March. March down here. Come on. Thank you very much. Well, you go faster than that. My nails are just patched. Last bit. Last bit. Last bit. What the f... At the time, I genuinely thought Kelly was speaking to me. And that's what made me jump in the first place. Looking back, I'm pretty sure she didn't say a word until I reacted. Come on! Come on, Spirit, run! Run, get out of this Run! Come on, Brian! Come on! Run, Spirit, run! Come on, Spirit, run! Come on, Spirit, run! Come on, run! Run up the hill! Run! Come on, Spirit, be in chase, run! Come on, come on spin that table up here. Come yeah, on. Spin right first. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on, spin it up. Come on, spin up this hill. I like it. You could drag the legs. So they could actually run it good as well. You are under. You do that for us. Come on, follow me. Whoa! Whoa! 
go, 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 go on, Spirit. Go, 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 go. Pull it, pull it. Do that Come on, Spirit. Come on, Spirit. You can do it. Our hands in the rest, Spirit. <laughs> Come on, Spirit. Keep going. Now you've all our energies. We decide to put everybody in the bottom part of the cellar, and suddenly we get movement detected. Can you see those red lights on the table? The one on the stairs has just gone off. Pardon? The one on the stairs is going off. Is it? Yeah. Did you just say, yeah? Yeah. Did you say, yeah? yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if that's you setting them off, could you, set, could you stop it? Could you light them all up for us? Could you see all four lights on that little circle REM pod there? Is it still going off? Yeah. All you got to do is walk towards that red light spirit. Yeah, it's definitely going off. <laughs> Can you step away from it, please? Or make one of the other colours go off? Step away, please, or make another colour go off, one or the other. Step away, please. Okay. Okay, so I haven't touched that in terms of switching it off or anything. Do you want to come close to it again? See that one's there. Sometimes you need to reset it, so. Yeah. Spirit, can you do it again? While we're in the basement and the other team are in the base room with Ouija boards, we get something interesting happen in the restaurant. Remember the photo of the boy? We placed a camera facing this spot in the hopes of catching something. This camera records in 25 minute increments. We lost sound in this increment. The screen starts to go static and then this.
After that, the screen returns to normal, but the sound does not come back. So what does the wardrobe smell like, Laura? Chicken nuggets. It's terrible. It is nearly 25 minutes past four. In the morning. In the morning. There is still people in the like, bit outside coming home from the clubs. It's, it's crazy. So we're in room 10. And supposedly this is one of the most haunted rooms in the hotel. So we have decided that we're going to sleep in here, obviously. Of course. And um, record us sleeping. I think. And hopefully we'll capture some ghostly goings on while we're sleeping. First time I've ever done this, so um, good luck, Kirk. <laughs> yeah, let's um, set the tripod up and um, see where we are. No see you right. in a moment. Good night. spirits please do something good night move in here and we'll shut the door shut the bathroom door The next morning, we're left feeling a little more drained than usual. Was it the spirits of the Red Line Hotel using us as batteries? Or was it the bottle of beer I had before bed? Either way, this place is incredible, quirky, crooked, and thick with history. When we did get to bed, we did have a very restful night's sleep indeed. Tonight's investigation was made possible by Haunting Nights. Check out their website to book and their social medias. You will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please show the love, like and subscribe, drop us a comment, and check out our Facebook, Insta, and TikTok.